Welcome to the Sekonic L308X FlashMate Quick Start Video Series. In the videos that follow, we'll help you to set up your meter for photo, HD cine, and cine modes, guide you through the basics of light metering, and even show you a few advanced techniques. Let's get started. In this first video, we'll show you how to get your L308X up and running and give you a brief overview of its basic functions. First, let's install the battery. Simply slide down the battery compartment cover on the back of the meter and insert one AA battery. Power the meter on by pressing and holding the power button. The meter is now ready to operate in photo mode. But before we get started metering, let's take a quick tour of the different metering functions the L308X has to offer. The LCD screen displays three graphic icons in the upper left-hand corner representing measuring modes. The sun icon is for ambient light to measure any non-flash available light. There are two lightning bolt icons, one for electronic flash without a sync cord and the other for flash with a sync cord to measure any strobe lighting. With cordless flash mode, you'll need to press the mode button to select cordless flash. Then press the measure button. The L308X is now in standby mode waiting for the flash to trigger for a cordless flash measurement. In cord flash mode, you'll need to press the mode button to select cord flash. In addition, you'll need to connect the synchro cord from the flash unit to the synchro terminal on the meter. Pressing the measure button will automatically trigger the flash and measure the output. The T icon, which stands for time, is for shutter speed priority. The F icon, which stands for f-stop or aperture priority. To set the ISO sensitivity, Press and hold the ISO button while pressing the up and down buttons to select the ISO value you need. To move from one mode to the next, simply press the mode button. If you want to go back to the previous mode, instead of pressing the mode button, press and hold the ISO button while tapping the mode button. Now, let's take a reading by pressing the measuring button. The up and down buttons on the side of the meter allow you to select the specific setting values you need. In the upper left hand corner, you will see the battery indicator icon. There are three status indicators for battery status, full, low, and empty. The L308X provides two different types of measurement techniques, incident or reflective light measurements. Simply slide the lumosphere to the right for reflected or to the left for incident measurements. An optional Lumi disc can be attached to provide accurate measurements of flat artwork and brightness levels in multi-lighting setups. The L308X is three light meters in one. Here's how to select those modes. To operate the L308X in HD Cine or Cine modes, turn the meter off first. Hold the mode button down and press the power button at the same time. This allows us to enter the custom settings mode. The default selection is Photo CS1 for custom settings one of the display mode selection screen. By pressing the mode button, we can toggle between Photo, HD Cine, or Cine modes. Let's select HD Cine mode and then power the meter off to save the selection. Now press the power button back on and you'll notice the meter is set for HD Cine mode. The LCD screen displays the battery icon in the upper left hand corner, the ISO in the upper right hand corner, as well as the T icon for shutter speed and the F icon for aperture. Pressing the mode button toggles between the shutter speed priority mode, the FS frames per second setting and the illuminance mode. By pressing the up and down buttons, you can change the value of these settings. Now let's take a measurement by pressing the measure button. Let's turn the meter off again and press and hold the mode button while pressing the power button. This enters us back into the display mode selection screen. Let's press the mode button to select cine mode, then power off the meter to save the selection. Upon powering the meter on, the LCD screen displays the battery icon in the upper left hand corner, the ISO in the upper right hand corner, as well as the ANG shutter angle, FS frames per second and the F icon for aperture. Pressing the mode button toggles between the shutter angle and foot candle settings. 
By pressing the up and down buttons, you can change the values of these settings. Now, let's take a measurement by pressing the measure button. The L308X offers custom settings for increments of measurement and either foot candles or lux measurements to accomplish various shooting requirements. Let's select HD Cine Mode to demonstrate how this works. First, turn the meter off again and press and hold the mode button while pressing the power button. This enters us back into the display mode screen for custom settings one. Let's press the mode button to select HD Cine Mode. Similar to photo and Cine modes, if we press the up and down buttons, we can select CS2. This is the custom setting mode for increments of aperture and shutter speed. By pressing the mode button, we can select full, half, or third stop increments. If we press the up and down buttons, we can select CS3. This is the custom setting mode for simplified illuminance display. This mode provides measurements of light falling on a subject in foot candles or lux measurement values. By pressing the mode button, we can select FC foot candles, LX for lux, or none for no setting. The L308X FlashMate has been calibrated to the precision standards of Sekonic. However, it may be necessary to compensate the meter calibrations to a camera or another meter. In this situation, the L308X offers calibration compensation within one-tenth stop increments in a plus or minus one EV range. To enter the calibration mode, we must first select the display mode we want to use, photo, HD Cine, or Cine, then turn the meter off. Now, let's press and hold the ISO button while pressing the power button on. The meter will display CAL, which represents calibration mode. Pressing the up and down buttons changes the values. Once the calibration setting has been selected, turning the meter off will save and store the value for the next time you use the meter. In the following L308X quick start videos, we will concentrate on metering functions, when to use them, and how to get better exposures. The L308X, the perfect blend of photo, cine features, all in one light meter, compact, lightweight, intuitive design.